Hey guys, my name is Maros and welcome to my channel. So the topic for today is how to be more spontaneous in communication. So this video is really for you if you are struggling with spontaneousness in public speaking. So for instance, what you are afraid that when you're called out and you're supposed to speak in front of the audience or in front of the team or in front of your friends, you're having this nervousness that you might say something weird, it's not gonna feel good. Or it's for you if you are having the same problem in dating. If you are speaking with a girl and you are constantly worried that you will say something weird, it's not going to feel good. She's going to be like, oh my God, like who says this? And because of this fear, you're limiting yourself and you appear to yourself and others as non-spontaneous. By the end of this video, you will know exactly what to do in order to work on this and in order to massively improve your spontaneity. Okay, it might sound unbelievable, but trust me, I've done this exercise, I've recommended it to my clients, it works like miracles. So what is the thing when it comes to spontaneousness? For most people, or I would say even for, for like 99% of people who are having this problem, the reason why they're having this problem is that when they stand in front of the crowd, and by the, by the way, this is a fear of everyone in public speaking, when they stand up in front of the crowd, they are afraid that they will say something weird or they will say something, whatever, and other people in the audience will be judging them for that. And because this feeling of judgment is extremely uncomfortable, they want to avoid that, that feeling, they want to avoid the judgment, and they want to say the best thing they can possibly say. Now, wanting to say the best thing you can possibly say is being in your head, right? When you're in your heart, you're just relaxed, you're spontaneous, you're just saying stuff as it comes up. You have the intention of what you want to say and you just allow the process to lead you where you want to be, where you want to go. When you're in your head and you want to say the best thing, there's this perfectionistic drive that it must be perfect. And because there is like the drive that it must be perfect creates the its opposite, which is fear that it's going to be terrible. So the more you want to be make it perfect, the more you're going to have a fear of failure. And because of this, the, the inner critic or the, the voice inside your head that is kind of evaluating how well you're doing is extremely loud and is extremely intrusive. So what ends up happening is that you start speaking or you have the idea to say something even. And this voice inside your head is so loud and it so doesn't want you to screw up that you even catch yourself before you actually say something. And again, this applies to public speaking, this applies to team meetings, this applies to dating. So how to work with this? Now, there is one important thing you need to know about this. This feeling of judgment that you're so afraid of that's going to come out from other people. The truth is that the real source of this, of this feeling of self-judgment or this feeling of judgment is coming from in the inside of you. And it, what it really is, is, it's just the sum of accumulated experiences in the past where you felt judged by someone, you didn't like it, and you wanted to somehow put the experience away from your mind, from your conscious mind. So what you did is that you put it in the unconscious. Now, because this is extremely uncomfortable, you, you, you don't want to face it, you want to minimize the amount of experiences you can potentially go through where you will risk the same feeling again. And guess what? If you go to public speaking, you are facing exactly that. If you go to a date with a girl and you really like that girl and you care about the result on that date, right? You have to, you will have to face those feelings. Now, there is a way how you can face those feelings and process them safely without having to leave your apartment, without having to leave your car wherever you decide to do this exercise. And in fact, it's extremely simple. So how it works? The idea of the exercise really lies in the assumption that you can experience those feelings, you can experience this uncomfortable, and you can, you can prove to yourself that you're still safe. You can prove to yourself that you can handle that, right? And with this, you're processing those feelings. What does it look like? It's simple. It's so simple, it's going to blow your mind. You're going to take your phone. I don't have my phone here. <laughs> you're going to take your phone. You're going to turn the camera on. You're going to point it on yourself. So you're going to make it in a selfie mode and you're going to make a video blog. You don't have to publish it anywhere. You just need to look at the camera. You look at the, you look at the screen and you speak for five minutes. 
that's it. You don't stop. You keep speaking for five minutes, no matter what, even if your butt fell off. You just keep speaking and speaking and speaking. And after five minutes, you stop. And you don't even have to look at the video again. The next day, you do the same thing. 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 And you go for 30 days in a row every day. Okay? If you have social anxiety or if you think you're a shy person or you're an introvert and you're avoiding people because you don't want to be in those situations, but you actually crave human connection, this is a fantastic thing to do because when you are watching yourself speaking in the camera, you are actually experiencing all this self-judgment, right? Like, oh my God, this is weird. Who would talk about this? Like all these feelings might come up and if you don't feel like speaking or you don't have like a specific th like like a thing you would speak about do it anyway because what it like what it really does this experience of being spontaneous and this this experience of just like relaxing into the flow is really about trusting life it's about trusting life and trusting yourself being part of that life and this thing with your phone and with the video blog is literally about that you just turn the camera on and you allow yourself to trust yourself and trust life that you're going to say whatever the hell you're supposed to say and it's going to be okay. If you feel self-judgment, notice that you can still relax, you can handle it and you can keep going. Okay? When you do it for the first day, when you do it for the first time, it might feel uncomfortable, it might feel weird, but every day it's going to get better and better and better. And what I actually encourage you is to go for go for seven days at least. You're gonna see a massive difference in seven in, in seven days. I absolutely encourage you to, encourage you to go for thirty days because after thirty days you're gonna see a massive shift. You're gonna be like a different person in front of that camera. And then I would encourage you to publish one blog online somewhere. Maybe make it a story. Maybe make it you know an Instagram story or a Facebook story. Maybe make it a post. Maybe just send it to a couple of friends and see that you can actually handle that okay so it's a challenge take it as a challenge make it make it about having fun make it about self-exploration make it about noticing what you feel you don't have to share it with anyone at all i remember when i did this five years ago i did 30 videos i put all of them on youtube but i only have them for myself so that i can see what it looks like years later when I look at the first video and I'm going to be like, oh my God, like, I can't believe I was speaking like this. Just for the reference, seven years ago, I was so scared of public speaking that when I had my first speech in Toastmasters Club, I had a full blackout. I don't remember what I said there. It's like, I just like completely erased that memory from my mind. Like I was so, I was so afraid. My hands were, my, my palms were sweaty. Like my heart was racing in an extreme way, in an extreme way. So this exercise was something that really helped me massively. Okay. So what I encourage you to do now, go for the exercise. Now, if you're thinking about maybe I'll do it, I don't know, do this right now in the comment section that I am deciding to do this now. Maybe even say, I commit to doing this exercise. Do it for seven days or 30 days. And after this time that you've been consistent with it, come back, go to the comment and reply in your own comment how you feel and how was your progress. Because no matter where are you from, whether you're from Pakistan or Ghana or Argentina, United States, I guarantee you that if you do this for 30 days, it's going to work for you. So if, it's hap if it happens, please come back, put it in the comment section so that other people who are watching this video right now and they are not sure yet, they will see all those comments and it's going to be easier for them to start. Okay, so thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up. My name is Maros. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is, this is one of my first videos. And I really hope it's going to work for you. I'm sure it's going to work for you. So go for it.